Hello, all my model car building buddies. Glad to see you. I'm back, and this is Model Cars with Glenn, and I'm still Glenn, and I'm proud of it. Here's one of my pictures. And it's like a 53 Chevy, I think, something like that. Got a blower on it, of course, and six, uh, whatever, carburetors. And that's a wagon, for once, with surfboards. Cause that's where he's going. He's a he's a hippie dragon. All right, let's get on with this. Cause I don't know how long these things take. Here's the here's the build, and I knew. Whoops, gonna have to do some adjusting. All right, that wasn't hard. Uh, when I last left you, I was told you I was gonna build a tranny tunnel. Well, you know how things pop up sometimes. You just gotta pop them back down, and that's what I'm trying to do here. I came across a little problem. <laughs> what my dumb self did was I grabbed the wrong chassis, the frame. This is the one where the body sits on top. I wanted the one where the body, it dropped right in. Wouldn't have had to done nothing, but I'm not going back and changing it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solve some problems. Let's get this out of the way and grab the body. Stick it on here. Now, on this side, I have already solved those problems. See how the See how the frame's all the way under the body looking good? Now look at the other side. Oh my God, it's ugly. It's sticking out under the chassis. Not cool at all. Let me show you what I had to do. First, where's my stick? Okay, here's my stick. I had to make these notches right here. And one on each side. Wasn't no big deal. I just had to run it back there. And then on the... On the floorboard, uh, let me turn on this little flashy light thing. Yeah, that helps it. All right, there's this piece that goes across. I had to uh, cut off some of it here and some of it here and some of it here and then trim this wheel opening in here. See, this one's still big and this one's down. That's what I had to do to solve the problem of <coughs> chassis. Which, you know, things happen. They're going to happen. And when they happen, you got to deal with them. So I'm dealing with it. That's good right there. And that's bad right there. See how much of the frame is sticking out? I don't like that at all. I like the frame to be hidden because I'm making a low boy. That's the deal. Okay, let me just stick this rear end back under here and show you. This is working out pretty good, though, even if I did... Even if I did mess up just a little bit at, in the in the beginning, and if, I hope I hope that doesn't disappoint anybody. But heck, one of the things I wanted to wanted to show here was, uh, you know, mistakes can be made, mistakes can be taken care of. Yeah, line up the wheel a little bit. There we go. Now I have to hold it down because that's some glued. See how the tire is right up there? That is nice, man. That's, that's all stancy and everything there. I like it. But on the other side, you can see that frame sticking down there looking all stupid. Uh, so what I did was, I did. I told you what I I got this on here, this piece of plastic on here. That's so I could just shove the body up against it because that's where I want the firewall. I want the firewall up against these things. And... I'm not using the kit firewall because it's ugly, and I don't like to use ugly. All right, so next time I come back, I'll have this, this other side chewed up over here to where I just got to cut this down and this down and this down and, and this down, and then that'll fit. That'll all fit, and I can mount. I'll, par I'll have the rear end partially mounted so it'll quit falling apart, but... That's pretty much of the build I'm going to do today, or show you about. Cause I'm, the, the main, let me just tell you this. If I've said it once, I've said it one time. The problem solving is one of the most pro gratifying aspects of model building. Things don't always fit the way they're supposed to, and when they do, when they don't, then you just got to work out a way to make them fit. And that's what I'm doing here. All you got to do, a little bit at a time, First, I did that, and then checked it. Okay, then I had to do that, and I checked it. And then I had to do that, and I checked it. And then I had to do that, and I checked it. Eventually, though, I got all the doodads done. 
and now it's fitting. Gonna fit good. I'll have the other side trimmed out tomorrow, and the body will be sitting down on here all cool. I have the rear end located a lot better. I ain't gonna glue it on because it's gotta be painted, and I'm not gonna start painting anything yet. I don't even know what color to paint this thing. If you guys got any ideas on a color to paint it, I'd like to hear it. Chassis color, body color, interior color. I wanna know what you guys think. And that's for the build. And now for to show you a couple of models real quick, because I don't want to make these videos too long. This is like a 1902 or something like that, curved dash Oldsmobile. Uh, scratch built the body and painted it to look like it's wooden. I, I just like the look of wood, man. And the the floorboard down there is uh, from that flatbed truck uh, AMT. Three, time, uh, three way to build a truck, a wrecker or a flatbed or a regular truck. But the sides and the curved dash and the si and the seat housing, that's all scratch built. And the seat's out of a 29 Revel sedan. Made the springs on the front, double springs. That's the way it's run. On the back, I got cool blown Hemi with three carbs. With, and I got the fuel lines on it, believe it or not. And spark plug wires. Little T radiator in the back. Some carriage lamps for tail lights. I, I like that. The front lights are made out of carriage lights. I sanded the front off of them. And then took a couple of uh, the street rod lights. And I sanded the back off of those and glued them together. And then put these uh, handles off of a couple of uh, kerosene lanterns that came with something or other. Got the tiller steering and the tall shifter and little handbrake in there. And this is my this is my little curved dash old. She's different. I like it. I was doing this video a few minutes ago. I got all the way up to this guy. Well, next one after this. And it said, video limit has, has exceeded. We're going to have to start a new video. And it went off and started a new video. I don't know what that was all about. I went back and I deleted a bunch of stuff out of trash. Y'all know what this is? Can you can you picture it? You, I'll, I'll give you a minute to try to guess what this is. All right, that's the Jeopardy theme. And what it, what we got here? That is a forty one Willie's body. This on the front. I think it's a thirty nine or Chevy or 40 Chevy truck. I took the fenders and the front and grafted them onto the wheelies. And I had to use the front, the back half of the wheelies hood and the front half of the truck hood to get it all to work. Got that cool scoop on there. It's a gasser. Um, I like gassers. Don't sue me. The motor is a big block and got the four downdraft Webers on it off of the Tijuana Taxi. That thing had some good carburetors on it, and I've had a couple of the kits, mostly for parts. I'll show you what became of them later. But this looks like a Dick Tracy car, don't it? Something like he'd be running around in. Anyway, although not a gasser. But anyway, I, I just I like the look of that front end on there. It's just a one-of-a-kind car. You probably won't never see another unless I show it to you again. This, on the other hand, I know y'all know what this is. This is a 59 Impala. <laughs> it's been cut, chopped, shortened, lengthened, stretched, flattened out, stepped on, dropped on the floor, and then glued all back together in this condition. I love the paint on this. It's pearl white with pearl green fade. Got the little grill in the front, and I, I like to keep the openings there, the little eyebrows. The chassis is, is a handmade cha uh, scratch built chassis. The front ends off the T bucket. I don't know where the radius rods came from or the back wheels, but they're cool. The tail lights are 59 Impala with the little red with the little red lenses in them. I like that. Got to shoot up here on the back. This piece comes off so you can get in and out of it, and Got the cool seat, steering wheel intact. 
piece that comes out and holds the steering wheel up. That was neat. And let me put this back on. This is my 59 Impala, whatever the heck you want to call this thing. It's got the Hemi in it with the Velocity Stacks. I want this car for real. I want a real one like this. I would drive this thing every day. This is one of my favorite models, if it ain't my favorite model. Well, did I, did I do a Rambler 69 shout-out? If I did, I'm going to do it again. I like this guy, man. He's got the cool Roadster up there and the cool GT Turismo car. Rambler 69 Styrene Attic. Uh, his name is Tom. And I'm pretty sure this clown guy is Sweet Tooth from the Twisted Metal video game series. I gotta take that flashlight off of there. That, yeah, that, that's better. Now, I'm not, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a Sweet Tooth the clown. But if that's, if that's Tom... The guy, if that's a picture of him, looking good, buddy. Looking good. All right. That's going to be the end of this before I run out and have to start over again. Uh, love you guys. I, I, I got a lot of subscribers. I'm, I got over 100 subscribers. I can't believe it, man. I never thought I'd get that many. I thought I'd get like three or four. and But I got over 100. And I thank you guys, all you people that subscribed. You guys are awesome. Just totally awesome. Now, let me see. Subscribe. You need to do that anyway. Subscribe. Give me a comment. Good comment. Bad comment. I don't care. I I try to answer all my comments, every one of them. And uh, if I miss you, it ain't because I don't love you. It's just because I'm stupid. And leave me a like up there. Comment. Subscribe. And I'm pretty... Oh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate y'all watching this stuff. And I'll be back tomorrow with, I guarantee you, uh, uh, what is it? Oh, tunnel. Tunnel for the transmission in the build. So we'll have that to look forward to. I thank you so much. And I'm going to get off of here before the video runs out. Chase that fly off. Flies around here are bad. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'll catch you all later. Hang loose and bye.